Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting journey in the world of web development. This video is a continuation of previous one. I recommend to check out this video for a better grasp of Spring Boot auto configuration. In today's video, we have got a fantastic lineup of topics to help you master web development in Boot and few indispensable tools. Creating dynamic web page with Spring Boot, understanding the Spring MVC workflow, installing Power Package Manager, setting up Node and Git on your system, installing Front Awesome and Bootstrap libraries, utilizing Timely for list iteration and templates, and refracting the class. We have got you covered. Let's jump right in. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. Now let's start by creating a HTML page. We are going to place it in the resource template directory. Allow me to generate a static HTML page containing the standard HTML head and body tags. Next, we will be creating a controller responsible for handling incoming requests and populating your model with data. This is where we define the logic to showcase dynamic content. This controller should be created under the spring.core.mvc package. Don't forget to add the controller annotation to the template control class. Inside, we will create a method called web page to handle incoming request. We will use the get mapping annotation to specify which HTTP request this message should handle. The web page should take a model object as a parent, which we will be used to manage data and bind it to the respective web page. In Spring, it's crucial to get your naming right, especially when it comes to the web page. The page must match precisely with the template name. I hope this part makes sense so far. Moving on, in the next step, we will display the model value on our web page. We will introduce a p tag to showcase our message. This will serve as our paragraph. Next, let's include another p tag. Assign it to the th colon text attribute. We will set the value for this attribute. This message. Let's change the paragraph tag to a span and correct the syntax to use dollar within curly braces message. This is a common way to display dynamic data retrieved from server side model. When a time leave template is processed, it replaces the content of the span element with the value of the message attribute from the model. Let's come to our flow. What we have learned so far? The flow happens is when you request some certain URL, it asks the dispatcher to find the right handler or the controller. It will go to the right mapping. So we have get mapping that is the handler here and we will choose the right controller. So as you can see in the colors implemented by developer, these are developers. These are violet color are the developed. We will be creating those and this is already present. This is given by spring source. So when that Handler will figure out the right control. It will send you the view name, right? The view name was for us is Spring Web Page, and it will send that response to Handler Adapter. And eventually, it will also understood by dispatches. Oh, this is the page they are asking for, and it will execute. You will see some other portion where execute business logic is there, where you have connection with database. Now, right now, we have just understood the flow of how we can bind the data, how we can retrieve the data when you add some more integration like this database. So going forward, we will be going to add this MySQL. We'll see how we can retrieve the data and show that in our UI. So that would be the challenging one. I recommend to check out this upcoming video. So this is a full Spring Web MVC. So we will now see a new tool called Bower. Bower is a package manager for web specification HTML, specifically for HTML, JavaScript and CSS front images file. 
why we are talking about Bauer right now. Now we are in this phase where we are creating our templates, right? This HTML file. There can be possibility that you are able to get add those JS file as well. So there will be one JS file, JS me JavaScript file or CSS file. Bower is a package manager for managing front-end libraries and dependency in web development projects. It's similar to pom.xml file in Spring Boot application. In that, it helps manage project dependency. But Bower is especially focused on front-end resources like JavaScript libraries, CSS framework, while pom.xml manages Java-rated dependency and is commonly used for server-side libraries and build configuration. So quickly we'll see how we can install the Bower and create a package dot package file. In order to create, we should have Node.js in our system. Node.js is an open source server-side JavaScript runtime environment that allows developer to run JavaScript code on the server. It's known for its non-blocking, event-driven architect, making it highly efficient for building scalable real-time applications. Node.js is commonly used for web server, APIs and applications that requires high concurrency and low latency communication. Just go to any Node.js, uh, just search over Node.js, you will see some downloaded. Go to the latest here, take the latest one. Take the any any latest version, click this in Windows installer, then try to install that. It will hardly take few minutes. When you install that Node.js, you will see Node.js appearing in your system. So with the help of Node.js, you need to install npm as well. npm is a node package manager. It's the default package manager for Node.js. It's a command line tool that simplifies the installation, management, and sharing of JavaScript package and libraries. You can use npm to easily add, update, and remove dependency from your Node.js project. It makes it an essential tool for building and maintaining JavaScript application, both on server and in process. This will try to uh, execute your Bobber package or it will initialize those package. So this, this two thing has to be present in your uh, application npm comes bundled with node.js so installing node.js will also install npm verify that node.js and npm are correctly installed for that go to any command line i have opened a command check the node version node hyphen v you will see the current version npm version also you can see by saying version both are very same this is 6 this is version 40 okay both are different, different. You can also install different version. That's all fine. It will be out. So it will always download the latest table build. The last part you require is the git. If you know git, git is a version controller. Controller means it manage your code. Whatever you have code written. So whatever we are writing in this, you can see this. This you can store in, into the cloud. So git will help you to create that repository. In that repository, you can push your data so that whenever you want to access your code, you can access on flight. To install Git, this is the official website, Git website, tkitscm.com. Download the installer for your operating system and run it. Follow the instruction prompts. After the installation is completed, open your terminal or command prompt and verify Git's and NPM. Now, let's discuss why having a Git account is crucial. Git is a distributed version control system that allows you to track changes, collaborate with others, and manage your project effectively. With a Git account, you can host your repository on platforms like GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket, enabling easy collaboration and sharing and backup of your code. Adding that path, absolute path, say CD, space, this is what you are writing command from. If you are using Unix, you have to use ls, same I believe, change directory. Now I am into this directory. I will see what I have in this under. We have uh, okay, dir. It has not changed my directory. I have to change to C. Okay, now I am under this directory. As you can see, we have this 
class uh, this uh, folder these files okay first you initialize configure the git okay now say npm install hyphen g and bower say bower to install your bower so what install means install will install your dependency g means global if you don't add g then what will happen it will it will not be part of a global it will only present in this type okay then like if you have different uh, project running and it is under any other path then this bower will be not present in that so if you don't add g as a global it will start installing you should have internet at this point to so that it will start installing to write this directory and you can see my bower the latest stable version has been added now you have a bower so you can check what is my bower version that is 1.8 itself right so this means you have bower installed now with the bower say in it to initialize the package when you say in it you will be asked the name of your package i will say web hyphen manager if you don't say project name that will be a say your package description i can say our package manager then what is your main file i don't have right now i can just ignore add some keyword to identify power package json anything can put here so author is my name so i will keep saying yes license this is the mit is the free license open source one keep adding and home page where you want to add should be a home page set current install complete yeah all the dependency has to be installed i will say yes add commonly ignored file to ignore list i will also add yes because it will also create a dot ignore file and what is the commonly ignored that will be added would you like to mark this package as private which prevent it from accidentally push so i will not say private i will say no if something happens i will take the risk so this is the package this is the json file it will generate okay they have put that name author description main keywords all the keyword license home page ignore you also install node modules that should not be part that also has been ignored what it this ignore list means if you are loading your code whole code into git hub then these are the file will be escaped so this whole module is not recommended to be added because you can always generate this file you can only generate component test and test file and other which we have a dot file as well that is on other dot file will also be escaped so looks good say yes so now i my bower is been created so how to verify i my bower is created come back to your project eclipse just refresh you will see one new bower is been added so this is been added under main java so as you open this bower the same json will be shown to you if you want to add some dependency so let's say i want to add punt awesome say renowned icon library with a collection of scalable vector icons that can be easily customized and used in website and digital design to install it use the following syntax power install font awesome wait for some time you will see font awesome is installed after installation you can verify by checking bower list now let's add another popular package bootstrap a front end web development framework that simplifies and accelerates the creation of responsive and user friendly website by providing pre designed css and javascript components to download the latest version of bootstrap run the following command bower install bootstrap check bower list again now you will see both package listed returning to the eclipse project check power.json you will notice that two new package has been added to the dependency section additionally you will find a directory named power component which contains all the install libraries this day we conclude power okay let's see some few more example on time leaf 
how we can use the time in leaf to bind more data. So right now we have just seen one simple example which has one message. How you will show that there is a list of message here. In order to do that, I already have one class, right? Person. And I want to show this person data. Here, I will create simple order list. Or you can uh, use a table as well. Honor. Correct. I will say order list. Under that, I will say list and I. Under that, I will say th text. I need person dot name. They will name here. I need two, three things. Age. I believe we have a salary and gender. Whatever the same name, I will put here so that it also get mapped. One more. It has to be end with tag slash. Now I need to send this data. So I have not created this person. I have to create. Go back to your template controller. Bind the data. Model dot add dot all. Say add it attribute model so instead of model let us say person because that is how i want to bind now i can call this the web where i have created i believe in the template i have yet created somewhere oh. we are calling this right this get person we can call this get person to get our data we can use this so i will call get person in order to call that i have to add some dependency i will add auto wire because this is dependent on that. If you look closely, there is an ambiguity in this control name. So we need to rename it. To change your or rename, you have to use refactor so that change everywhere wherever this web controller has been used. So I will say web controller. Now I can access this get detail. If I call this message, if you see get detail, this will be returned and come back to your template we add uh, some p tag first son details we can add label okay let's let's move on and check uh, what is there in our page run this you will see my data so this page need more alignment so we'll modify the code instead of and i to say and i here and this is going to be span now it should look uh, correct Saving and now you can see my person detail has name. Okay, it has uh, not appeared the person the correct because I have not used uh, the template literal. So I have to use this template literal to, in order to figure out this exact mapping. You save. Let's see. Come back to this. Now you can see the data appear. This is the way to get your more data if you want to send earlier we saw that whatever we have in the web controller with uh, it send you json body right so i have the correct name and age if you map that value if you want to get then you will be able to map those value in your template means the estimate and there you have it we have just scratched the surface of these exciting topics by the end of this video series, you will be armed with this knowledge and skill to create dynamic web page, handle Spring MVC, and optimize your web development workflow with the right tools. Stay tuned for more in-depth tutorial. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and let's embark on this journey together. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am Atindinath and you have been chilling with BitScience. Keep coding and stay awesome.